Okay, so welcome back to the Hollywood Group Chat Podcast, period, after show. You guys have been begging for me to review the show that I am on, Basketball Wives of Orlando, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Before we start, you know, I have to give you guys a couple reminders of what I have going on. Um, the month of October, I'm giving away $1,000. I'm trying to AMSR it, but it's not working. Yeah, I have $1,000 to one of my lucky subscribers or followers on social media platforms. Um, there will be a link pinned in the comments. All you need to do is download that link. Under that comment, put done, and that enters you into the contest. Also, in the description, because I didn't know that you could add stuff into the descriptions, um, I'm going to link my book. It's called Good Head, Aligning Your Thoughts and Actions for Success. We have this here. Um, this is a manifestation workbook. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of the terminology manifestation, but manifesting has gotten me where I am today. It's gotten me on multiple TV shows. It's gotten my first million dollars in my bank account. It's gotten me everywhere that I needed to be in life. It's gotten me my mirror, my house, everything that I have. So um, if you guys are interested in <clears throat> learning how to manifest faster and how I did it, you can purchase my book, Good Head, on Amazon. Um, the link will be in the description. Last but not least, like, comment, and subscribe because I'm trying to get to 100,000 followers, subscribers, whatever you want to call them, on YouTube. Okay, so without further ado, we are going to get started with the review for episode one of Basketball Wives Orlando. Okay, so Basketball Wives Orlando, how did I end up on that show? Okay, so one of the producers from Basketball Wives LA, his name is Mark. Um, he was one of the head guys over in LA, and he was literally one of my favorite producers. Um, he, 10 years later, um, he comes up with this idea for a new franchise, like a rebrand, new girls, younger girls. Um, something that I feel like the franchise needed because I feel like people are so over like the OGs and their like fake problems because those issues don't even be real issues. So Mark um, hires uh, our EP, Jessica, and um, they go out and find a cast who actually knows each other, right? So you have me, um, Morgan Bledsoe, Ashley Snail, Danielle Miller, Nikki, Nicole, Mulan, Neek, and Mackenzie. Um, and Lindsay. So um, we all know each other like through one triangle or another. I'm not going to go through the love triangles just yet. Um, I'm going to save that for episode two. But we've all crossed each other's paths in one way or another. So that's how I ended up on this show. Um, the show starts off with me meeting with Shawnee. Um, this moment for me was very surreal because my um, experience with Basketball Wife season four was not that grand. Um, I feel like they treated me differently because I was younger and um, I didn't really know anybody. Like, I kind of knew Jackie. I met her a couple times. And um, they are always so mean to the new girls, especially when they're young. So I had a really hard time keeping up with the cast of, um, of L.A. Um, Orlando it was very smooth for me. Like I said, the scene opens up with Shawnee and I. We're catching up. Um, she's telling me why she's in Orlando. She said she's here for an AAU tournament. And um, she, me and Shawnee actually had like a deep conversation of all you guys didn't catch because they couldn't edit it that long. But um, Shawnee is now happily married to a pastor. Um, we had talked about like choosing the right people to have kids with. I told her that I was now dating an entrepreneur. I have hung up my jersey chasing jersey way up in the closet. Don't plan on taking it down anytime soon. I'm done with athletes. They are zero out of 10, do not recommend. Um, I'm happily in love with my new boyfriend. He is a um, tattoo artist and a business owner. And he also writes music. He's very creative. He can draw, paint, sing, dance, the whole Chris Brown without him being Chris Brown. So I'm happily in love with the normal guy. Me and, Sh me and Shani had a conversation about that. Um, also, uh, she did tell me that my best bet is to stay neutral, even though I know that because I've done the reality TV game before. And she said that she was also familiar with a few of the ladies Um that lived in Orlando and she's met a couple of them. So um, it goes from my introduction and it flashes over to Ashley Snail. Um, Ashley is also like a lead in um, the show, a lead character. Um, as the show goes on, you'll see that the show mostly revolves around four girls. So it's me, um, Ashley, Morgan, and Danielle. Um, you'll see as the show goes on that like the storylines all are like, they all go around, like, four main girls. Um, Ashley is, like, the most, like, 
typical basketball wife on like on our cast. Like Ashley has the house, Ashley has the car, she has the money, she has the basketball player boyfriend, she has the kids, like she has the lifestyle. Um, and Ashley really represents like what people would think basketball wives are like stereotypically, right? Um, me and Ashley, I wouldn't say that we were the best of friends throughout the season. Um, still to this day, like, I don't really know if I like Ashley, honestly. Um, like, I didn't like Ashley filming. I don't really know the Ashley outside of the cameras. So, um, hopefully, like, in further seasons, um, or future seasons, I'll get to know Ashley outside of, um, filming. Um, but the Ashley that I met during filming was not my favorite person. But at the end of the day, I got to still give her her props. Ashley's an entrepreneur, and she juggles a lot with her kids, her husband, and her, like, l like lavish lifestyle. Um, the next time it clips over is to um, Morgan, who is our third lead, or second lead, but it clips over to Morgan. And um, Morgan is at her home with her mother and her children. Um, Morgan, excuse me, Morgan is a firecracker, literally, like, She's just a, a firecracker. And um, she has a great personality. Money, uh, Morgan is a really fun girl. Like, she would be the girl I'll call to go out, even though I really didn't go out during the season. I don't play that, like, hang out after work because at the end of the day, it's a job. And a lot of girls learned that that hanging out after work will get you in trouble. But um, if I were to hang out with a group of girls after work, Morgan would be in that group. Um, I love Morgan's relationship with her mom. Um, me and Morgan had a lot of like close conversations about, you know, she used to have resentment towards, used to have resentment towards her mom, um, for whatever reason. I didn't really get too deep into it about how she grew up and something about her father. But she said that you know she had to finally apologize to her mom and her and her mom are like best friends now. And I know um, Morgan's mom helps a lot with her kids because obviously we're working. So I really love uh, Morgan and her mother's relationship. Um, where do we go from that scene? I think we go to the brunch. Right. Okay, so uh, from the scene at Morgan's house with her family, uh, we hop over to the brunch. So um, I'm clearly the last to arrive at the brunch. Um, I'm watching this, like, utterly shocked because I was two hours late to this scene. And when I walked into the scene, the producers looked like all hell had broke loose. Literally, this is, like, the first all-cast scene of the show. All-cast is where the majority of the cast shows up to an event. And the producers are like, they've, there's already drama. They've already gotten into it. So walking into this scene, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, what happened already? And the only person that I really knew in the room was Neek. And um, this part was cut out of the scene. Um, before me and Neek, like, linking up in Orlando, um, me and Neek weren't even really the closest of friends um, due to, like, some outside issues. So um, me and Neek actually talked out our issues in that scene prior to us being, like, super friendly. Um, so me and Neek are good now. Everything was squashed with her. But like I said, like, this cast is very authentic. A lot of us knew each other prior to filming. So, you know, we've had outside issues, and a lot of those issues and emotions were brought into, um, I guess, the situation. So um, how the edit looked, it looked like I arrived to the brunch, and... Um, you know, Morgan and Ashley were already, like, into it. And then me and Nika are watching. Um, but I didn't see the fight at all between um, Ashley and Morgan at all. That all happened prior to me getting there. So they edited it as if, like, I'm there and all this is going on. Um, also, prior to the all cast, I had been talking to Mackenzie um, on Instagram. I'm actually like Mackenzie. She's cool. Um, you'll see in further episodes, like how our relationship like either develops or revelops. I don't know if revelop is a word, but you'll see um, me and Mackenzie's relationship like further into the episode. She's cool. Um, I don't totally agree with like a lot of her like life choices. Um, I can't talk about it right now because I'm going to do a, a, a recap of episode two and I'll save it for that. But overall, I think Mackenzie's like a sweet person. Um, okay. So Morgan and Ashley get into this fight at my branch and I'm watching this, like, the first time me seeing the fight was on TV with you guys. Um, it just looked like I could have never been Ashley in that situation because Morgan couldn't have did this to me, and she couldn't have, like, put her hands in my face, and she couldn't have touched me. Like, it would have been up from there. 
Um, I had some interviews with Ashley this morning, like some um, like duo interviews via like digital platforms. And um, Ashley said the reason that she kept her composure is because like she's a businesswoman, she's a mom, and she runs like a couple foundations, and she doesn't want people on the outside um, judging her from her actions. So she said that's why she didn't really retaliate in the beginning. I don't know if I believe that or not because Morgan is a hothead, and like if I didn't know how to fight with my words or my hands, I probably would have reacted the same way Ashley did. So there's that. Um. I don't really know the depth, even throughout filming this whole season, I still don't really know the depth between Morgan and Ashley's like relationship because according to Ashley, they were never friends. According to Morgan, they were they were friends. Um, I've seen a multiple post on Instagram, uh, one from Ashley saying that um, Morgan came to Ashley's wedding after her divorce, but Morgan was saying that um, Ashley was like a part of the reason for their divorce, I think. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. Like, I don't really, I didn't really get into, like, I, obviously I was messy and I stirred the pot, but I don't really know the full, complete backstory of at the Ashley and Morgan drama. Even through the 12 episodes that we filmed, I still don't know, like, the truth behind that. Okay, so um, the next scene is, um, I think, Morgan uh, pulling up to the basketball court with Mulan and Neek. And um, Morgan is filling them in what happened at the brunch, obviously. And um, Morgan is saying that she's going to have a golf event. And she's inviting everybody. So I don't know if that everybody included Ashley. I'm not sure. Um, at the golf event, she did say that it was an all-inclusive event. Everybody was invited. Ashley just decided not to come. I mean, if I was Ashley, I probably wouldn't have came to the event either, honestly. But um, yeah, Morgan said that she had invited everybody, right? Okay, so it flashes to um, Morgan's golf event, and uh, it's Morgan, Lindsay, and Mackenzie outside um, golfing. This is the first time we see Lindsay. Lindsay's the one with the red hair, and she reveals that she's pregnant. Um, Lindsay is a wife. I'm tired of you guys saying there are no wives on the show. Lindsay's a wife. Ashley's a wife, and Morgan was a wife. Like, we have wives on our show. Um, I hadn't met Lindsay at the time, so that's why Lindsay wasn't invited to the brunch, or I, I didn't follow her on social media. I had no idea who Lindsay was at all. I never heard about her, never seen her, nothing. So she is like a completely new person to me at this point. Um, so it, uh, Morgan's golf event did get rained out. So that day, I was not having a good day. It's just like, I got this cute golf outfit. I went to go get my hair done and my makeup done, and then like they have us doing all this stuff, and it's just pouring down rain, and they have us outside on these golf carts, these umbrellas, and doing what they're supposed to do. And I literally was so mad that day because it's just like it's raining. Like why would y'all, why would y'all not check the weather before y'all have us out here looking like wet dogs? Like I was so mad about it. So um, the what you guys saw was towards the end of the golf event when they were like, okay, it's not going to stop raining. So Morgan moved the party inside. So we're all sitting at the table. I mean, Morgan moves the party inside, and then Nikki and I walk in. So I guess this is Nikki's introduction to the show. Um, Nikki is someone that I knew previously. Like I said, the show's super authentic. I knew Nikki since, like, 2016. Um, Nikki was on Black Ink Chicago, um, and she has dated a few basketball players in the past, and I just um, – she was my friend on the show. So Nikki comes in as my friend on the show, and I introduce her to everyone. We all sit down at the table, and um, – Uh, Lindsay starts to talk and she's like, oh, well, before we start discussing things, like, I feel like there's some stuff that you need to say or people need to say. So I call out Mackenzie because, like, I don't even know why I called out Mackenzie. I knew Mackenzie was holding something back. I don't know what it was, but something that you guys didn't see. After the, uh, the brunch scene, Mackenzie, Ashley, and I, and Ashley's friend, Parnia, we all went out to eat. And Ashley was kind of, like, spilling the beans to me about, like, her relationship with Morgan and how she's friends with Morgan's new, Morgan's ex-husband's new girlfriend and how, like, they be on the phone and that Eric was supposed to come film with Tony. I don't know. I just was very uncomfortable during that situation. And I wasn't going to say anything. But after my business got put on the forefront, um, I was like, well how do you even know that I used to talk to Eric? So Lindsay basically calls me out. She's like, well, don't you need to tell Morgan something? And I was like, well, since you brought it up, like I was going to tell Morgan that I used to talk to Eric. I was going to tell her, 
But like I had only met Morgan twice and they were both in group settings. I feel like that's something that you take somebody to the side and be like, hey, just to let you know, I used to talk to your husband. I don't know if you guys were married at the time or not. I didn't know about you. And the key main thing here is I did not sleep with that man. I never had sex with him. Nothing, never kissed him, nothing like that. Um, the extent of me and Eric's relationship is, I think, Katana. We went to Katana to go eat on a group date. It was me, him, and like two other people. So I don't even really count it as talking. Like, yeah, we've shared a couple text messages or whatever, but I didn't think it counted and I didn't think it was that serious. But the way that Lindsay said it, it made it sound more serious. And Lindsay clearly got that information from Mackenzie. And where else would Mackenzie get the information from? Because she's Ashley's best friend. And Ashley's friends with Eric and she's friends with Brianna. So she had to have heard that from Ashley, in my opinion. Um, the way that Morgan responded to me um, going on a date with her husband, I was very surprised because, like I said, Morgan is a hothead and I can see how she could get upset. So I was like, I thought it was going to be like a like kind of like an altercation between us. But Morgan was like, well, welcome to Orlando. I was like, thank you, sis. Like, period. Like, that's some grown woman shit. Because I probably would have done the same thing. It's like, girl, I don't care about my ex-husband. He's a non-factor. Like, I'm not about to be beefing with you behind this nigga that has cheated on me multiple times. Like, there's no point. Like, we're just meeting each other. You're a cool girl. I'm a cool girl. Let's be cool. So I definitely respect Morgan for that. Lindsay, on the other hand, she made a really, really bad impression on me. I kind of held that against Lindsay for the first, like, three or four weeks of filming. Like, I was nice to Lindsay, but it's just like, it's some, like, I don't like you. You know, like, I was like, who does stuff like that? And so I kind of held that grudge um, against Lindsay, but Lindsay and I uh, grew really close at um, probably, like, mid-season. Uh, we got closer, and uh, Lindsay is a really cool girl. Um, I'm glad that I got to know, got to know the real her instead of the messy her. Um, okay, so after this scene, and I spilled the beans that I know that Ashley be talking to Eric, even though she says she don't, um, uh, Morgan and Ashley meet up for dinner, and Morgan basically read Ashley to filth. She's like, I know you be talking to my husband. I know that you were putting women on my husband. Um, I know everything that came out in the divorce papers. Ashley's denying everything. Um, and I'm not really surprised at all. It's just like... Morgan and Ashley are both Tauruses, and Tauruses play the long game. Tauruses play like, like Tauruses are the type of people that will play like everything's cool, we're all good, and then they be plotting on you behind your back. So I feel like Ashley was being like vindictive um, because Morgan's influence made a lot of people turn on her. Um, you'll get to see more about that uh, further into the episodes as well. I don't want to give too much away. Um, so the scene ends with um, Morgan and Ashley getting into it, and I loved every second of it because, like I said, I wasn't in every scene, so I'm getting to see like some stuff for the first time. And honestly, watching this episode, I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying Basketball Wives Orlando. We worked really, really hard to give you guys a good show. Um, shout out to all the executive producers, um, all the producers in, in, in general. They did a great job.